pulled up and make a flip, uh, pull up and a coop, uh, YouTube! We're back with another video, and today we will be discussing my three favorite shoes to skate in, plus an honorable mention. Now, I'm a poser, I can ollie, and I'm learning how to kickflip. I'm learning how to kickflip right now, so I'm getting in there. Trust me, I'm getting in there, I'm learning how to kickflip. Um, it's going good, you know? I could shove it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I could shove it a little bit. A little bit, though. You know what I'm saying? If I, if, if you said, yo, you are gonna you gotta shove it or you're gonna die, I, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just committing. It's tough. So I'm a poser. This is just my three favorite shoes to skate in. I've skated in, like, I don't even know how many shoes. I've skated in, like, four or five pair. All the, Like, all fall, four or five of different pair of shoes. That's a lot of fucking math. Anyways, but uh, first of all, you know, stay hydrated, drink water. My water is over there, actually. Um, it's not, you know, with me. You can't be sipping this video. I'm gonna die. It's pretty hot. It's hot as shit in here because it's freezing outside. You already know. But read the Bible, spread the gospel. Love you, Jesus. Without Jesus, I wouldn't have any of this shit. So, shout out Jesus, man. But first, honorable mention. Oh, my bad. We're gonna do, we gotta do a fit check. Fit check. We have this L, Eiffel, I almost said Elvis, Eiffel Tower necklace on. Um, this liquid blue Supreme knockoff little good back shots. If you watch the wall DTX, you know you know. Uh, a little skull tee. We have saggy underwear, Walmart belt, Walmart handcuffs. Um, I'm set you down at you. Oh, it's over here. We got on black skinny jeans. You know what I'm saying? I know. Skinny jeans. I know. Oh, let me just hear. Black skinny jeans. I know it's crazy. Team baggy. But you know what I'm saying? I've been on that skinny jeans wave. They call me the white quant for a reason. And then we have some Nike skateboarding shoes. Those will be talked about in about five seconds when I put the phone down. Whoever told me I was White Quan, they like commented a video if you know who Quan is. Shout out Quan. Oh, that shit hit me hard. I was like, damn, I love Quan. So that was a great compliment. Appreciate you. But um, first, first, here we go. These, these are Nike skateboarding shoes. Charon Two. Screenshot. Now, if that, hey, 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 these, I love skating these. Look at them. They're beat. Um, my girlfriend got these for me. Well, my ex-girlfriend, like, two years ago got these for me. Shout out you. You're a real one for buying me these. Because, like, when we bought them, I was like, I'll probably wear them. I wish it's hot. I say it's cool, bro. I'll fucking wear I beat the shit out of these. I love these shoes. And then my homie, Ethan, shout out Ethan, worked at Journeys, and I was talking about these fat laces, and he and I was like, these are tough. And he was like, don't even trip. Went to the back and got them and gave them to me. Shout out Ethan, man. But yeah, Nike skateboarding shoe. Um, very light. You can feel the board great. Like you have great board feel. You know what I'm saying? Great, great. Like they're super light and you can feel the board. That's what I like about them. Because sometimes I'll be wearing shoes and I feel like they're too like thick. And it's kind of sus. You know what I'm saying? Or kind of, and you know, I can't really feel the board that well. But these, I can feel the board. You know, when I pop my truck, it feels good. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just like wearing them, so. But now, I did fucking crush my ankle on these bitches. Oh, my days. Let me tell you something. Bro, I was, like, at the park, and I did, like, five ollies in a row. And I'm starting to get pretty high with my ollies now. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm getting, I'm getting like, this much off the ground now and shit. And I was getting excited. And I can't kickflip yet. But when I started to learn kickflips, I was doing it, like, the wrong way. Like you're supposed to flick your board from like the front side. I was trying to flick it off that side. And you're supposed to heel flip off of like the back side of the board. So I was like, let me try a heel flip. I really never tried one. And I was super excited. My heart was racing. I was bouncy. And bro, I tried to jump as high as I possibly can. Bro, my left ankle got fucking cracked. Like the board's like this. My ankle goes. And bro, I fall down straight on the butt cheeks, right? No yams. Right? So that kind of hurt. And then I fall, and, and and my left wrist, like, try to catch myself, boom, sprained my wrist. My wrist was hurt for, like, four days. It was, bro, it was bad. 
I was like, damn, I hurt my butt cheeks, my ankle, and my wrist. I can't skate. That's how I really knew I was a poser. I was like, damn, I'm a bitch. But that was an honorable mention. Nike skateboarding. It says Chiron, Chiron, Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? Honorable mention. Here we go. Mm, Y'all are not even going to expect these bitches, bro. Mason Margella Gats. I love skating in these, bro. The flick on these bitches is fucking crazy. Like, bro, the flick of these bitches are fucking crazy. I'm learning how to kick flip, right? And you know, I've kicked, tried to kick flip in a couple of different shoes. And the flick, the flick, the flick is there. But you know what I'm saying? It's not like it wasn't there. I wore these bitches. Bro, the flick and these are crazy. Crazy, I flick and that bitch flips, bro. You can feel the board. It's a very light shoe. The only downside is, is the inside is leather. So if your socks are really thin, it will rub and that shit hurts like a bitch. So if you're gonna wear gats, wear a thick sock or take or replace the insole. But love the shoe. Great shoe, by the way. And I put like like lips, like lip kisses all over mine. If you'll ever seen the white shirt with it has a bunch of kisses over it, it's very TikToky. But yeah, I put them all over mine. But yes, I love skating in these bitches. And they look 10 times better B. Like, if you wear these and they're super, like, nice and shit, it just looks like a normal white, like, Payless shoe. When they're B, it, like, really brings it out. So yes, bro, the flick on these bitches is crazy. They're light. They're comfortable. Just wear thick socks. All I gotta say. But Mason Margella Gats. Now, if you're gonna buy these real, um, they're about 300 to, like, $600. These are reps. So I got I got these for free, but you could probably find them for like 150, 200 bucks. So, um, yeah. And for the price point of these, I'd say 50 to 100 bucks max. I'll give y'all prices, but yeah, 50, 50, 50 to 100 bucks. You know, nothing crazy. Um, the, way more affordable the Nike shoe than the Gats. You know what I'm saying? But you could probably go to the H game and find it for 50. So, you know what I'm saying? Next. <sighs> Just a, just a Converse, man. Hey, sometimes you just got to go to classics, the classic Chuck Taylors. I love these skating in these. The flick is nice. The board feel is nice. They're super light. They have ankle support. Now, I do have to tie the shit out of these because they're kind of long. I'm an 11, and these are 11, but they kind of feel like a 12. But you know what I mean? You just got to strap that bitch up. Keep it on. Keep it pushing. Yeah. Keep it skating, I guess, for this video. But uh, yeah, I mean, Converse, Chuck Taylors, $69.99. Nowadays with inflation, you could be looking up to like $100, $120. But you could probably find them used for $50, maybe even $20. I got these for $20. Bucks, so I got, these from a, I got these from a resale shop, though. Paid $20 for them. So hey, man, Chuck Taylors, Converse. I mean, hey. Sometimes to get to the future, you got to go to the past. I'm just saying. I, hey, I didn't say it. Shakespeare did. Shakespeare ain't here. I'm here. Here we go. Third and final shoe. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Rick Owens Crocs. No, I'm just playing. Just playing. Just playing, guys. Just playing. Mikey S.B. Dunks. Now, these are a lot different than every shoe I've talked about. These are more wider shoes. So they're wider on your feet. They're wider on your board. They take up more of your board space. But they're super comfortable. They're like made for skating. They have a, they're like, they're probably the most comfortable shoe to wear. They're just kind of wider, kind of bigger. If you have wider feet, I would recommend these over every single one. Um, I would, I don't even know, but if you have wide feet, definitely pick up an SB over, over like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a Chuck, cause the Chuck is like a skinny ass shoe, but these are wide, but the flick on these bitches, the board feel, I love skating them. They're hella durable. Like this is like a right shoe and it looks like I've never even skated in them. I'm a poser though. So maybe that's why. Yeah. But. At the same time, I still do like these. Um, I love skating in these. I skate in them all the time. These are probably my most skated shoe. 
like an SB. I do also have four pairs, so maybe that's why. And then my second, but I do, but I do like skinning the Margellos. So if I had to rank them, if I had to rank my favorite shoes to skate, I'd pick, I'd pick the Margella. And then I would go SB. So we're going to go Margella one. Hold on, let's get a little thumbnail in here. All right, anyways. Margella one. SB2, Converse 3, Nike Chiron 2. But I love skating all of them. They're all super great. But uh, if you're like a big boy, you got some big ass, like wide feet, you ride a wide board. I ride a skinny ass board, like probably like a 7.5. Like, dude, it's skinny, bro. Like, it's skinny. It's a skinny bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so I like, kind of like my shoes a little smaller. But I do like these because I'm still kind of learning. So it just kind of helps like the with the flick too, because like you can kind of miss and it's still going to hit because it's a wider shoe. So if you're like kind of if you're trying, you're still learning and shit. These are wider, you know, more area to land on. This is how I think of it, at least. Um, and they're really fucking durable. Like I literally, I literally stood on my bed. There was literally a terrible organization, but it's like 5 a.m. Not going to throw it on the ground and wake up, mom. Shout out, mom. But yeah. That was my three favorite pairs of shoes to skate in. I guess four. I'm going to say three with honorable mention. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Video's coming out soon. I'm trying to roll them out like I rolled the dice. And hey, SB you later.